eventually happened, and it was much more beautiful than we could have imagined. SpaceX's Starship, now officially the most powerful rocket in history, the most powerful rocket ever built. SpaceX's Starship lifted from a launch site off the coast of South Texas on Thursday at 9.28 a.m. ET, but exploded midway before the stage separation. So what was Elon Musk's reaction to this explosion? Will Starship ever be considered the most powerful rocket ever built? In this video, we will explore everything you need to know about the Starship's first launch debut explosion. The CEO of SpaceX does not appear to be disappointed. In a post-launch tweet, Musk complimented the team on an exciting test launch and stated that they learned a lot for the next test launch in a few months. Actually, Musk had tried to keep expectations in check by claiming that it had a 50% chance of reaching orbit on the first try. However, more launches are planned, and he believes that they will be successful by the end of next year. This was the historic first test flight of the vehicle. This morning, just after 9.30 a.m. ET, SpaceX's Starship Mega Rocket blasted off from the Boca Chica, Texas launch pad propelled upwards by a record-breaking level of thrust. So what made the explosion take place? Stay tuned, as in the next minute, we'll uncover shocking insider news. Starship isn't quite ready for prime time, but by finally taking flight on Thursday, the Mega Rocket has become the biggest, tallest, and most powerful rocket to ever take flight. This was a test mission, and SpaceX wanted to see how far they could push it Thus, the rocket lasting over four minutes is an astounding feat. The rocket cleared the launch tower and continued upwards towards space, surviving max Q, the point when the rocket receives the maximum aerodynamic pressure. However, shortly before the four minute mark, the rocket began to exhibit erratic flight behavior. The rocket exploded, most likely as a result of a self-destruct command provided by the SpaceX ground control. The stunning explosion caught at the end of the video was actually planned. Yes, it was all planned by the company itself. But what made SpaceX give the self-destruct command creating the explosion? We'll cover this in the next few minutes, so stay tuned as we have some more exciting news upcoming. The company stated in a statement issued following the prototype's test flight that after the rocket achieved an apogee of over 24 miles, the vehicle experienced multiple engines out during the flight test, lost altitude, and began to tumble. As a result, the flight termination system was commanded on both the booster and the ship. In other words, it self-destructed after deviating from its intended path. While that portion of the rocket's maiden voyage went as planned, much else did not. The launch threw up tons of debris, coated the nearby town in filth, and punctured the company's launch pad. It also set a nearby state park on fire. But hey, experts believe the explosion was a big success, and resulting footage is really stunning. Coming up, we'll take a look at the Starbase, the launch platform for the Starship, and what damages were incurred due to the explosion. Make sure to watch till the end. While Starship was taking its first flight, the slow buildup of power began to devastate the launch pad, or stage zero as SpaceX refers to it, and the surrounding area with debris. Though this has yet to be confirmed, debris may have struck the super heavy booster's bottom, causing it to lose engines just before liftoff. The Raptor engines carved a big crater into the ground, resulting rubble. The resulting rubble pummeled the surroundings, smashing cars containing live stream equipment and remote cameras set up by the media the day before. It will be fascinating to watch how SpaceX addresses this issue in future launches. They are now constructing a water deluge system, but will it be sufficient or would a flame trench under the launch mount a new Starbase be required? Because the same launch pad style is currently under construction at Launch Complex 39A, which also hosts Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launches, the damage caused by this launch has significant implications for future operations. Heavy debris hauled over a thousand feet, damaging equipment required for human spaceflight and Falcon Heavy launch operations cannot be tolerated by the LC-39A. Musk estimated that it would take six to eight weeks to prepare the infrastructure before Starship could launch again, at least from the pad. Musk announced the news in a recent Twitter Spaces conversation. During the Twitter Spaces session, Musk stated that the Starship flight test results were basically in line with 
if not slightly beyond his expectations. Musk restated his previous claim that the overall goal of the Starship's maiden test flight was simply to clear the pad. The outcome was roughly in line with what I expected and maybe slightly exceeding my expectations, but roughly what I expected, which is that we would get clear of the pad. Musk said, adding that, I'm glad to report that the pad damage is actually quite small and should be repaired quickly. Starship's April 20th flight was dramatic, with the vehicle causing damage to SpaceX's South Texas launch pad as it took off. Musk stated that when the rocket's engine reached full thrust, the concrete was likely destroyed. The CEO stated that SpaceX certainly didn't expect Starship to shatter the concrete beneath the launch pad. Musk stated that the purpose of the test flight was simply to gather as much information as possible and that the mission was a success in that regard. Musk stated that the following flight that SpaceX would like Starship to reach staging and maybe orbit. Overall, Musk indicated that Starship had an 80% chance of reaching orbit this year and a close to 100% chance of reaching orbit within 12 months. Do you think Musk is right? Well, there are some obstacles in the way, though watch further as we discuss them. According to court filings obtained by the CNBC, five environmental and cultural heritage groups are suing the Federal Aviation Administration, alleging that the agency violated the National Environmental Policy Act by allowing SpaceX to launch the largest rocket built ever from its Boca Chica, Texas facility without a comprehensive environmental review. The group says that the FAA should have completed the extensive environmental impact assessment before allowing SpaceX to proceed with its Starship super heavy ambitions in Boca Chica. The FAA failed to conduct the necessary hard look at the proposed project and has concluded that significant adverse effects will not occur due to purported mitigation measures, they said. According to the plaintiffs, the government waived the requirement for more detailed investigation because of the suggested environmental mitigations. However, the mitigations required of SpaceX by the FAA were woefully inadequate to offset the environmental damage from launch events, construction, and increased traffic in the area, as well as anomalies like the destruction of the launch pad and mid-air explosion in April. The attorneys add in their complaint that the FAA's own chief of staff for the Office of Commercial Space Transportation stated in June 2020 that the agency was planning an EIS. Later, based on SpaceX's preference, the lawyer wrote that the federal agency decided to use a, quote, considerably less thorough analysis, allowing SpaceX to launch earlier. Despite the particular matter, heavier debris and fire, Musk stated on Twitter Spaces over the weekend, To the best of our knowledge, there has not been any meaningful damage to the environment that we're aware of. The precise effects of the launch on people, habitat, and animals are currently being assessed by federal and state agencies, as well as other environmental researchers, both in collaboration with and independently of SpaceX. As of last Wednesday, researchers from the United States Fish and Wildlife Service had not discovered any carcasses of species protected by the Endangered Species Act on land owned or managed by them in the vicinity. The researchers were unable to assess the site for two days following the launch, raising the possibility that carcasses were eaten by predators, washed away, or even removed. The parties contesting the FAA are part particularly concerned about tribes, researchers, and the public's access to state parks, benches, and the National Wildlife Refugee region near Starbase. Starship appears to be a promising vehicle, with Musk commenting that the spacecraft's structural margin were impressive, even in its first test flight. The vehicle's structural margins appear to be better than we expected, as we can tell from the vehicle actually doing somersaults towards the end and still staying intact, Musk said. Now that we know about Starship's planned explosion, future plans, and obstacles, we are left with one question. Will Starship be able to hold its title of the most powerful rocket ever built? What do you think about this in the future? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos just like this. We'll see you in another interesting video.